but I'm building a pipeline. I mean, I'm new to the business and you got to grind and, you know, your material as well is, is kind of, um, I don't know, man, you're kind of like a cheerleader. No, I'm not saying like <laughs> in bad, but you're like, a cheerleader. No, yeah. you're just, you're a motivator. A leader, yep. And I like that. And that's what I enjoy. So, I, yeah, appreciate I, have, that. I have definitely seen a significant shift in business. Boom. I pull like three apps within oh, like nice. three hours. So, oh, nice. and this is like cold calling. So yeah, nice. that's probably or yeah, that's where it helped me out. Nice. Nice. <laughs> What was a problem that you had before discovering the content at Sales Remastered that I may have helped you with? So one of the problems that I had before discovering your content um, was just getting fresh into the business, okay? Creating conversation, getting, um, just creating that relationship with the customer for them to open up, for them to answer questions for me, okay? Because everybody is bombarded on a daily basis. And I can't tell you how many times that I've ran in the situation already where it's, I get called five times a day, 10 times a day. So your opening script on how to ease in without sounding like a telemarketer is, is what helped me out. Nice. Nice. Okay. And then, uh, what did the frustration feel like as you tried to solve the problem on your own before finding at sales, your master before using that script? Well, the frustration that I felt before using your script to reach out was, um, I mean, you just, just take it. I mean, you're taking a girl on the first date, you know, yeah. and she denies you overall, you know, it, it's just, nobody likes rejection. Rejection is fear. Nobody wants to face that. The biggest thing besides fear is love, yep. you know? So when I was reaching out, I mean, I just, I felt helpless at first mm -hmm. because I was trying to figure out the answers. Okay. And I was just running into a brick wall. I mean, I've always had a mouthpiece on myself, but, you know, it just how to position myself, you know, is where your content helped me out. And that's, you know, where my fears were. Okay. And then you'd mentioned that you follow uh, different influencers online. What was different about the content that I provided versus the solutions that were given out elsewhere by those other influencers? Uh, so a lot of the other content that I've looked into is been a lot of it's tech based. Um, and I feel that, you know, if you're not tech savvy or if you have, you know, uh, an overall problem just creating or sparking up a conversation, I feel that if you can't get past that boundary, you know, the tech, the, you know, the tech savvy stuff doesn't even work, you know, right. so your content helped me out to just, it was more of an icebreaker, you know, to where you sound genuine rather than, okay, here's your objections from the you know, obviously other, other site holders, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, I feel that it's, it's more genuine, should I say, than, than the competition. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then, um, take us through a moment where you realized the content was working, like in this case, the script was working and actually helped you solve a specific problem. Okay. Well, I will go through that with you. So, um, your content on my second day, um, I was cold calling my first day and I was using a script that was, you know, kind of created by our company. But what I did was I used some of my word and phrasing. I inputted it in there and it wasn't working that well. Well, I picked up your content. It was, I get up at five in the morning, working out at five 30, got done with my workout and your objections to cold calling outbound cold, um, sorry, outbound cold calling. Listen to that. Um, pretty much, I uh, used yours almost verbatim, but I obviously we specialize in VA, so I just mixed a couple of my own sentences in there, and then boom, I pull like three apps within like nice. three hours. So, nice. and this is like cold calling. So, yeah, that's nice. probably or yeah, that's where it helped me out. Nice, nice. Okay, and then uh, tell us what your engagement is like now using the information that you're learning about on sales remastered well my engagement with customers from using your material is just it, it's it's a 180 um you know you, your content makes it easy for pretty much anybody that's in the sales field to really open up and build that rapport with the customer to make yourself sound genuine um to be honest with you you know we, we obviously we have our fears we all have our fears of projection still it doesn't matter how good you are 
because that next phone call could be your next sale or it could be your next hang up. And using your material to go into that conversation, not worrying about what that customer is going to buy or not is, I, I think is probably the biggest impact. So I'm cool, calm and collective and even upper management has, has taken notice of that. Nice. So, um, yeah, absolutely. So it, it just makes it all around, uh, easy, uh, you know, so nice and, uh, painless, <laughs> should I say, <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed it picked up in business? Um, I have, um, actually, uh, popping loans into processing. I mean, it's just, it, it's been a 180. I mean, you know, there was a day, I'll give you an example. There was a day last week where Thursday I didn't pull a single app. You know, everybody was denial, denial, denial. Mm. And then Friday rolls around, about to leave. And then boom, two deals just come up out of nowhere. Nice. So, and I just pretty much use your material. And obviously I, I put some of my words in there. You know, I didn't take it verbatim, but, you know, because you know, I don't like to plagiarize off anybody. So, yeah. you know, I want it to be me. I want it to be genuine. So yeah, have I seen a shift? Yes, absolutely. And it just makes you more excited to come into work the next day and it makes you just more hungry. Yeah. You know, yeah, I work till 8.30 or 9 at night, but I'm building a pipeline. I mean, I'm new to the business and you got to grind and, you know, your material as well is is kind of, um, I don't know, man, you're kind of like a cheerleader. No, I'm not saying like <laughs> that, but you're like a cheerleader. No, yeah. You're just, you're a motivator, a leader, yep. and I like that and that's what I enjoy. So I yeah, appreciate I have, that. I have definitely seen a significant shift in business. Let me show you everything I know. A jungle slide.